What's up guys? Today we're going to be covering the KX5 or the Skinny Pig. I'll also be comparing it to its predecessor, the KX3. You know when I got the KX5, I checked out the web and more specifically YouTube and I didn't see any comparison videos. If you guys are like me and you're in the market for the KX5, you want to see the difference in size between the two, the KX3 and the KX5. And I'm sure for those of you who are considering the KX5, you found that the pictures don't do a lot for you. You know, I checked out plenty of pictures and specs, but I still couldn't really grasp the size of the KX5 when compared to the KX3. Hopefully this video will help you guys determine whether the new pig is worth getting. So again, the KX5 is the newest iteration of the Flaming Pig. Uh, with a shorter barrel, the concussion can be a lot for some shooters to handle. Uh, like the KX3, the KX5 is designed to push all that muzzle blast and concussion straight forward, eliminating its effects on the shooter. Uh, the KX5 was designed to be a lighter, slimmer version of the KX3. Uh, the weight savings isn't huge between these two guys, uh, between the KX3 and the KX5. In regards to it being slimmer, you can now run the KX5 with a Fortis manufacturing rail uh, without any modification. Hell, you couldn't even run the KX3 before with the Noveski's own NSR rail. However, now you can install the KX5 under the NSR without any issues. You know, if I remember reading right, the KX5 will fit almost under any slimline rail on the market. So I'm sure you guys are curious of the difference in the overall diameter. The KX3's overall diameter is 1.37 inches, and the KX5's overall diameter is 1.2 inches. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but as you can see, there's quite a difference between the two. Uh, another difference between the two is their finish. Uh, the KX3 sports the phosphate finish and the KX5 is rocking that new nitrite finish. You know I am starting to notice the nitrite finish on more and more gun parts on the market so it must be a pretty durable uh, finish. Uh, the lengths of these two are pretty much identical. There's nothing to really cover there. Uh, one thing to note about the length is it can be permanently pinned and welded on a 14.5 inch barrel to bring you out to a total of 16 inches. Uh, like the KX3, the KX5 is individually serial numbered for quality control and it is considered a flash suppressor. Well guys, that about wraps it up on the Noveski KX5 on the comparison video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. If you guys found this video informative, if you liked it, uh, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. As usual guys, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you guys next time.